This is a certified hood classic. Hood rich, hood rich, hood rich. So, boom, this is a question for both of y'all girls. Mm-hmm. Um, I be trying to, like, put my, you know, my, my family on game and shit when it comes to talking to girls and shit like that. So, like, they be want to know, like, how can a nigga, like, take it from, like, 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 like let's say a nigga kicking in with you on the first day, fuck on the first night, like, what, what makes that an opportunity for him? Like, like, how can a nigga do that? I don't know, I either. No, I don't hear that. It depends on the situation. It's, it's, it's like, really in circumstance. To me, you know it's really in a female. If she wanna fuck you on the first night, then she's gonna fuck you on the first night. And it's really in a female, how a female, female, female is. is. Yeah. All right, so and you say it's in a female, what, what you think? I think it depends on both. The female and the nigga, though, oh. depends on the vibe. Oh, yeah. oh, of course, depending, but. But, like, what does a nigga have to do? Like, like, let's say he get a girl that be on some shit. Cause I mean, every, anything possible, ain't no such thing as impossible, nothing. But like, let's say he get with a girl that be giving out the vibes, like she ain't going on the first night. But what does he have to do? Right, but sometimes you can still overcome that. It just depends on who you are. What? What does that nigga have to do? Like, and what, y'all can what, answer generally. It doesn't have to be personal. Be your situation, you can be, you know, just a general. Normal. What is something that a man could possibly do to break it down on the first night? I feel like one thing he shouldn't do. I don't know what he should do. One thing he shouldn't do is don't force it. A female yeah. already got her mind up and she come to you she, if she really want to live with you or not. Mm-hmm. So just don't post that shit. Just let that shit be natural. Yeah. You know so I guess that would be the answer. Yeah. How you feel oh, about that? Because a nigga could show some money and stuff. That's not going to matter. You know what I'm saying? It depends right. on what you do. That's like true, who too. You are. That's true. What be making you feel good? Like, what makes you feel good? What do you mean? What can they do to get you up? What you mean, like? Like, let's say y'all kicking it or whatever case may be, right? Okay, let's say we got got home from a date. Mm-hmm. What was our first, our first day, type shit? What you mean, it like? Oh, well. So look, listen, what you listen, listen. To okay, let's say we went out to eat for a date. Okay. We both had nothing to do after I invited you over, so mm-hmm. we came over to kick it, chill, watch a movie, or whatever the case. What we doing? Yeah. Like, how can a nigga like? Is it is it in the conversation or is it in the touch? What is it? How can a nigga get take it down? I feel like the way the world is today, like it's really no trust in doing it on the first night. It really goes from the female, honestly. Like that's that's it how the person on how, Well, it depends on how comfortable I feel too. Yeah, well, how comfortable he make me feel. Right, right. If you ain't like to throughout the night. Mm-hmm. If you was just throwing it off, like oh yeah, I'm just trying to fuck up. She ain't go really, you know. Go with it, but if she right. feeling your vibe, feeling how you was, some people really do it on the first night. Nothing is wrong with that, but because at the end of the day, you gonna know what she want to do. Like even if you fuck him, or even when he fuck you, you know what I'm saying. Like you gonna know if you want to continue it yeah. or not. It just depends. Mm-hmm. I mean, it really, it's really all on the female and what she really want to do. If she really mm-hmm. fine with you or not, honestly, mm-hmm. that's how I feel. What's your name again, love? Kyra. Kyra. Mm-hmm. What what type of niggas you be like? What type of nigga you, what, what, what you be looking for? Fuck this nigga mean, what type of nigga she be like, this is the type of nigga. Yeah. I just like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm that, ain't, ain't none after me, nigga. I'm, right, that, so I, no, I'm that type no, of nigga, perfect. nigga. I'm glad you said that. So, with this nigga right here, Uncut, he got a question for y'all. Uncut, what type of nigga you be like? Uncut, what type of nigga you be like? Uncut, what type of nigga you be like? How do Uncut get that motherfucker going? <laughs> well, I'm coming. You don't want to make that moment. Can, can you answer that on the camera? Get your rocks going. It's everything. It's the vibe, the conversation, the way we actually like feed off each other, mm-hmm. stimulate my mind. You know. No okay. so, no, so listen. What she mean by that? What she mean by stimulate the mind is it ain't about high touch and none of that. It's like first of all, we start with the conversation and the vibe. You feel me? That's yeah, make me laugh. Exactly. Like, see, Uncut. He he. See, it's. See, niggas be smooth in their own way. See, you got certain niggas do different things. Like, uncut, like, that nigga has a great personality. He's vibrant. You know what I'm saying? You don't always got to be Mr. Smooth Guy, all that. No, you don't have to do all that. Get a girl. If you make a laugh, you know what I'm saying? Just be yourself. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, like, God. You probably really like uncut because this nigga's himself. I'm the He's big not, kid. I'm the kid be, of the family, you know man. He's not trying to be nobody. He ain't trying to be nothing. He's himself. He like to laugh. He like to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Drink liquor, 
make <laughs> jokes, you know what I'm saying? Like, females fuck with that. No care. He's just being himself. You don't got to be like, try to, oh, let me take notes on this guy and try to be or like. try to act too cool. That's exactly. You don't have to you do have that. To be exactly. With See, yeah. me, like, I'm a little different. I'm calm. Like, I'm just, I'm not really, like, I'm not, like, energetic. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, I'm just calm. So, it's different strokes for different folks. You feel me? Like, Definitely. Would you well, say you're nonchalant, too? Um, <laughs> Most definitely. Don't lie. 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 Don't how that work out? How do y'all feel about dating your sign? I never did that before. Okay. I never, I never even met a Sag. This is my first time ever meeting a Sag. Like Sag boy, like actually, like you know. Yeah. Do y'all see Except similarities for my right now or no? I do. I when I see know. now that I know, I for some reason y'all seem like y'all are butt heads to me. Probably so. Yeah, cause you yeah. seem dominant, and I know how this nigga is. Definitely dominant as fuck. Yeah. I love my Leo. Yeah, but yeah, I'm an Aquarius. Yeah, I only know about my shit too, but I know yeah. about hers because she mine. Yeah. See, I ain't gonna lie, I'm dominant as fuck. Like, my way or the highway. Same like, here. Uh oh. But, like, it's like my way or the highway, but once I get in a relationship with somebody, mm-hmm. I'll work it out with you. Like, I'll be like, you know, if you want this to go this way, cool, but I want this to go this way. Like, I wouldn't just be like, my way to highway. Like, if it ain't going this way, it ain't going no way. If you really love somebody and you really get serious with somebody, it'll just feel come like, halfway. Yeah, it'll come. You, yeah. You'll meet me halfway yeah. with it. Like, with my dominant, is like. But he gotta be dominant. He can make me stop. My person, like, uh, take over day sometime. Like, he could get me out of that dominant if I really fuck with you. Could, Facts. You know? So you could be led at the same time as you lead. Yeah. Okay. So what you be looking for? What I look for to do, most of personality, um, if you got, if you got your shit together, I don't look for no like, I don't know like, I hate for people to try to act like something that they not. I hate that mm-hmm. most definitely. Um, your head on strong. If I'm with you, we vibing for the first, first two times we together. As long as you guide me in the right direction, like I can read people too. Do you read people? I could read people like a motherfucker. Like, no, like, I, no, like, no, that's crazy. I that, like, I really feel like I have a real gift. Like, I be knowing motherfuckers before I know them. Literally. Like, it's like, it's no, energy. Really feel, like, no, yeah. I, like, no, I, like, that's how I really feel about people in general. Like, mm-hmm. I be knowing motherfuckers before I know them. Mm-hmm. Like, that's I already crazy. know how, like, with some people, friends and all that. I know I should go play out before you even play out. Like, do, do a lot of your friends come to you for advice? Because Always. you know and shit? Always. Yeah, that's <laughs> and I feel that's like me. I can't give up that same advice. Like, when it comes down to relationships, I could tell you every little thing, good, bad, anything. I would never tell you to stop messing with your nigga and like that. But for me, I suck. I can't give myself the same advice I give other people. But I, everybody come to me for advice. Literally, all my friends, come, even guys, that's, I'm cool with coming to me for advice. Always. I don't know why, but they just do. Yeah. What was your longest relationship, though? Um, or I would say I never really had a long, long relationship. Like it'll, it'll mainly be like more like on and off, on and off, on and off. Okay. So like I wouldn't yeah. really count it honestly, because it wasn't. Because it wasn't like you know. Because yeah. I feel like everybody go through that on and off, on and off stages. I don't. Once I cut I bitches off, man, it's over with. You don't give a second chance. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Oh. Yeah. I'm not give you one more chance. Like, that's <laughs> I cool. will, but I, I won't truly time. cut you off you if it ain't no now. second chance. You? you know what I'm saying? Me? Yeah. What's one thing about P is I'm not double back. I yeah, we don't double, double back. back. It's a difference between from cutting you. No, but it's a difference between cutting you completely off. Once you get cut completely off, it's there's no, no doubling back. back. I'll never fuck with you the same. Okay, yeah. Okay, no, but so it takes you to that point to completely cut them off. Yeah. Okay, like, what? Okay. Uh, off and on what is different than you getting cut off, what for real. What do you do to get cut completely off? Bitch. Oh, it's a lot. lot. It's a saying. lot, it's yeah. Lot. It, 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 it just depends on what a nigga pet peeve is and shit. Uh huh. With me, me personally, like, I don't like no goofy ass shit. Stop all that line. Yeah. And when I really know, like, I yeah. know people who they are. Yeah. Like, dumb that. shit piss me I, off. I know people for who the fuck they are. So yeah. why you come over here and lying about this dumb ass you shit? Yeah. Yeah, you Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stop fucking definitely. around. Like, I, I don't like that line shit. Um, I don't like, uh, just, 
I ain't gonna lie, I need for my bitch to be a little street smart. Like, mm-hmm. can't be a duck. That's, 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 that's number crazy. one, though. Especially that's hanging out with niggas like, like us, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, that's number one. Like, yeah. You gotta be on speed. If you like, on if dumb said, shit, like. Hey, man, hey, man, we gotta wrap this day up a little bit. I'm ready to get, get going. That means get your yeah. ass up. Let's man, go. Like, ain't no. If you ask me a question like, about what's going on, that shit a turn off. Like, yeah, like, you gotta know, like, your nigga. So, I got a question for you. Go so, like, let's say. Okay, do we? Do, y'all don't like when girls question y'all. Like, no, I don't like being let's questioned. Let's say, okay, but like, question, but she already them. know. Yeah. But like, it's still in the moment of it. It be like in the midst. It depend on the context, the situation, and shit like that. If I tell you to get up, let's go. Don't it. question me. Let's get up. Let's go. Not so it. what is being questioned? I'm saying questioning like, let's say I'm at home chilling or whatever, and I call you, you don't answer the phone. Oh. Uh, I'm know, already different. knowing. You probably outside, but you ain't answering the phone for me. I'm already knowing you outside, and I see on other people's story, bro. Like, come on, you like, outside. You in the background, you outside, but you ain't answering the phone for me. <laughs> so if I question you about that, would you feel some type of way, or would you just own up and be like, "Bam, I'm sorry, yeah, I did do that." Like, how would you feel about it? Like, Honestly. Um, I mean, I feel like if the dude's not answering the phone, you should, he should, like, he probably feels like you know I'm outside. What are we doing? Here? But what if it was something important though? But you want to know because. But I wouldn't feel disrespected about being questioned. It's yeah, just. Yeah, like, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, your the scenario you setting up is the 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 nigga who not answering the phone really just a chump or he just don't want to answer the phone. But I wouldn't feel disrespected for you yeah, questioning question. me. Yeah. Okay, so what about? So like, a nigga who a get situation. Let's say. Let me think. Let me think of something like. Because the situation you saying that's a bad cheating ass nigga I or something. Bad questioning people like I question you like female or not I know. I talk to my best friend, my guy best friend. He always say like, "Let me tell you this. Question. Let me tell you this. I only feel a type of way when I'm getting questioned if I already answered it before. Yeah. And still, like, babe, why are we still putting this up? Because now you don't like, trust you know me or like, something. Yeah. That I don't really like. I'm not a big fan of yeah, like, are you still asking the same shit? You feel? It's like, like I got down. I just, but the question makes sense though. It's like answer that shit. Yeah, yeah. but bro. All that bringing up the same shit and I already told you one time before. Yeah. Nah, I don't like that shit. No, I, I, nah, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about just question in general. Like, like what you doing some, outside? No, not even like that. Just like, how can I put it? Like, let's say if I know you did something, but you don't, how can I put I'm trying to see how can I put it? Like, fuck. You ever question your nigga about something and he still lied about it? It's like if, I, if I ask you something, it's the reason why I'm asking you something. It's that's not just coming at the Right. You know? So that's what I'm trying to see from y'all point of view. Like, do y'all what, what P doing? Do y'all get mad when girls question y'all? Okay, but do y'all feel like you can question y'all? Like, don't y'all be having questions? Yeah, yeah but. No, not questions to ask. That's not what but, I'm saying. I'm saying, like, question, like, fuck. Okay, because, yeah. I'm like, question you know me. Like, okay, question, like. Let's say you told me something, right? But mm-hmm. I don't believe what you say, so I'm gonna ask you. Oh, I so much you, oh, you really just talking about like on some up. regular, regular shit. Like, bitch, if I say something to you, don't question me about it, type shit. Yeah, like if you already told me something, but I know deep down in my heart, I know That's I got my proof in my own that you're yeah. lying. And I question you about it again, and I don't believe you. How do y'all feel about that? I don't care. I it depends. So it de- it really just depend on what we doing so that's not even really for you to know it's for us because every situation will be different if i feel like i'm caught then i'm gonna feel bad about being questioned now also if i feel like if i know i'm telling the truth and you question me that's gonna kind of piss me off at the same time too mm, maybe that feeling though you hit it just, uh, so you i get what you're saying yeah. now yeah like because nigga if i said something to you i'm telling the truth if you but question look, me again now i'm irritated like bitch shut you. up all right okay but I'm still asking my question. <laughs> Y'all, then that's what females gonna do. You know what I'm saying? But you get what she's saying now, though, right? That'll piss you off. Like, you lying. You, you dry lying. Because I'm telling you, if I bring it up to you, mm-hmm. I already know the answer to it. This my, this my first time in Houston. And I recorded a female earlier. She talking about something. You dry blocked me. You dry. What the fuck is this dry shit? I so never. Lying. It's just like, you lying for no reason. Like So dry lying. lying. Yeah. Okay. Like, get that name shit. That's y'all lingo, though. Dry. That's, that's, that's just lingo. Houston lingo. Oh. Yeah, that's, 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 that's my first time hearing this shit so in Texas. Say, like, dry. You dry. They say that out here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, like, you just lying for no reason. When I already know the answer. So, 
If I put, if I ask you about something, I already done asked you and you lie about it or try to beat around the bush, I'm going to ask it again until you tell me the truth. And if so, you don't tell me the truth, then that's just what So I, I feel mean. like that's when they say questioning. Then that's when y'all consider us nagging of blowing it or mm -hmm. always tripping about something. But then that's when trust comes into play. Thank you. Yeah, because you either trust me or you don't. Now, I know if I'm telling the truth, you really going to piss me off because like, bro. Exactly, but if I'm lying, to then I'm still going to. Act like I'm telling the truth. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck you talking about. <laughs> that shit gonna swing like, that way, for real. Like, I feel like we be knowing, bro. Like, I know what I'm knowing. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just know what I'm knowing. That's, I don't know. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the way I feel. Yeah. yeah. So, let me ask you this. Let me ask you one little question. What? Before I wrap it up. One by one. What's your biggest turn on? My biggest turn on? Yeah, what, what turns you on the most? How can a nigga turn you on? Neck kisses. We talking about physical or just in general? Like confidence. I love confidence. confidence. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking you talking about uh, women. No, I mean, no, no, like, no, facts but no. Good. Okay, well, sure. she I gave mean, physical. What's yeah, a physical trait for you? Um, Touch. Like, touch me anywhere, though. Type thing like okay, so you just like me. being touched, yeah, okay. Like now, touched. something besides physical, um, I would say something that is when you learn me without me telling you how yes. I am. I love that, I love that about a nigga, like, yeah, without me telling you, mm -hmm. just just learn me without me just giving you the run down, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can agree to that, yeah, okay. What about That's you? What about you? What, you know, uh, physical. Uh, what turns me on? I ain't gonna lie, my, my, my biggest turn on is it ain't the next, nothing. I ain't gonna lie, I like watching a pretty girl give me a head. That's my biggest turn on. <laughs> for real? Yeah. So physical, watch Physical. Ah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking at you doing it. Like, Everything for us is visually though. Y'all yeah, be wondering why a nigga nut fast bitches, your ass looking fat. Mm -hmm. I'm busting that bitch down. Everything coming to yeah, place. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? About, yeah, yeah. No, that shit, that's what that is, man. Uh, Something besides physical. Yeah. Um. I like. Oh. I, just, I like a hustle. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. like, I like. I really like a hustle. Like she don't need me for shit. That's just gonna make me want to just give for. Yeah. I ain't. Gonna, I'm. I'm a giver. Don't get me wrong, but I ain't no tricking that nigga. I'm really against it. I don't care if I'm up a me. Yeah. But. If I see you a little hustler and I see you, I respect what you got going on. It's going to make me want to, hey, like, what you want, what you want to do type mm -hmm. shit. That, I don't mind doing it that way, but I got to see that. And when I see that, I'm already like, it don't matter if you an eight, it's going to make you a 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a female that's deserving, that shit very attractive, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But my biggest thing, I like my ears being sucked on. <laughs> I can't have with you. weird shit too, but... That is a weird I like the I like sound it. of that spit. Just like getting head, that sloppy shit, bitch. Let me. I want to hear some spit in my ear. You know what I'm saying? That shit weird. Y'all ain't know that about your boy. That's funny yeah. as hell. Nah, I fuck with that shit too. Y'all yeah. do? Shit, I weird. I mean, yeah. I do too though, as a female. You, like you do? Yeah. yeah, I fuck with that yeah, shit. Yeah, I've never I never sucked no female. I that ear, do though. not really. Mm -mm. Yeah. Nigga. Let, let somebody suck in your ear. You're going to be like, bitch, what you said? Okay. <laughs> what you said? Say you again. funny. But outside of that, I have to say um, a female that in this time and age in our generation, a female that know how to be submissive but also dominant at the same time, a mm -hmm. female that knows how to be led. You know what I'm saying? Because a, a lot of people, even men, everybody living based off of social media, what they see or what they yeah. think is right, you know what I'm saying? Or what is approved by the outside world, you know what I'm saying? So a bitch that stand on her own and she could take, she could take guidance from a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. bitch, when I speak, I'm speaking some shit for real, you know what I'm saying? I'm not wasting my breath. So if you can listen, you can be guided, that shit is super attractive. Mm -hmm. And then you can talk back when you want to, but bitch, listen. Yeah. What's um, uh, what's Uncut's best feature? Personality. You my funny personality. as the hell. I'm yeah. not even gonna lie. You, <laughs> I you, love my personality. You be speaking it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying my personality. Like, yeah. Let's have a bond. I feel like that's mm -hmm. a bond before anything. You know, physical attraction. Yeah. I, I mess with that. Do you like the fact I'm an alcoholic? Oh. 
I mean, we kind of both. We both did, though. So, wait, so how right? long y'all been together? This is a little fresh. <laughs> oh, it's fresh? Yeah, I, I just talked to him. But we've been fucking with, yeah, we've been talking for about yeah. a year, though. You know oh, what I'm saying? Okay. But once the, the link up, you know what I'm saying? So, we locked in. I got a question. You from? I'm from Atlanta. You from? Chicago. Okay, so whenever y'all do decide to like get serious with each other, would y'all consider that, would y'all add on that year to y'all relationship? Um, I really don't know no. how shit work. I don't be I big see. on relationships like that. Yeah. You oh, know? you're not big on relationships? I am, but I haven't been big on relationships where I put time on shit with females and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this is so first. So let it happen naturally. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm saying like let's to say add, if we do make it official, yeah, we add on the time that we talk to the time that we actually made it. Right. That. Cause that's I, a question we're not gonna sit here and just act like we've yeah. been together for an entire year. Like right. she said, we fresh, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But we've known each other for an extremely long time, you know what I'm saying? So I got you. Yeah. So as a as a friend, as a friend. Oh, here we go. I we, didn't already got that. As, as, as a friend, what, what, what do you think? What do you well, think? <laughs> yeah, well, what, do you, what do you think my best feature is? Your personality, for sure, for sure. You think so? Yeah. A lot of motherfuckers think I'm an asshole. That's yeah. what I like about Pito, because he is an asshole. I am. just mean, like, if you ain't in the close friends, then bitch, we don't fuck, fuck with yeah. you for real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I fuck with your personality, and to say you a Sagittarius, that just... Make me talk with your personality even more. Your personality, for sure. You cool? Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? All right, what about y'all? Nice. Y'all got to do us. Oh, okay. Yeah, come on, Rob. Oh, we, got, we got one minute left, so. Go, her. What's that? Um, like I said, like what I like in a woman, mm -hmm. she knows how to be guided, but she also talk back. You feel me? Great. But it's not too much for me. It's enough for me it's where it's like, God damn, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But It's the balance. Yeah, it's the balance, and she's, she's a very dominant, independent woman, you know what I'm saying? I know if I can't, we, when it comes time, y'all ain't gonna know if I bought it or she bought it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we on that. Now we got Pete. Hold on, my camera went, it went, there we go, okay. What? You good. Oh, uh, let me see her best speech here. You funny. Take your hand down from your motherfucking mouth. Come on, Prime Time. You are real. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I like about her? This is just looks. She ain't got to put on makeup to look good. I like that, mm -hmm. number one. I like that. Appreciate it. Yeah, her personality is cool. She is sad like me. But you know what's the best thing about Sadge, though? We a mystery. So we don't know a lot of... I mean, we know, but we don't know. We hard to figure she's out. She's not going to tell me about it. I'm going to have to figure it out. She, I'm not gonna tell her about me, she got to figure out. So it's like a mystery, it's like a puzzle, so you know what I'm saying? That's what I like. What? Thanks. But listen man, we just had a great talk with y'all, you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all learned something in the video, <laughs> y'all boys, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get to see how the female mind think. That's why I do these type of things on camera so y'all can see how they can think. You know what I'm saying? That's very important. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow them on their platforms. What's your Instagram? Penny but y'all can follow me on YouTube, Black with Infinity B. Kyra Oriana is the same thing for YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Then you got uncut behind the motherfucking lens. Yeah. Right here, man. Y'all gonna know about me. I ain't even gotta <laughs> say nothing. I gotta be tatted on my arm. Tatted in on your screen. You know what I'm saying? Man, other than that, man, we out. Stay tuned.